this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time we're going to be looking into the 8th episode of Season 5 of The Muppet Show, which features Senor Wences. Now, maybe the name Senor Wences is not familiar to you, but he is actually known to be a prominent Spanish ventriloquist, where his career spanned for almost 50 years from the 1930s all the way up to the 1980s. And during that time, he actually had three very well-known puppets that he would usually play around with. The first of which would actually be Johnny, which is literally just his hand on top of a fake body. And then you got another one named Pedro, which is a ventriloquist dummy's head inside a box. No body, just the head. And then you also have Cecilia Chicken. Three very different, distinct uh, characters, but uh, Senor Wences would actually play with them all at once when he would be on stage. In fact, he would also be making numerous of appearances in shows like The Ed Sullivan Show, and also different appearances on Broadway, different TV shows, including The Muppet Show. And I just gotta say, his appearance on The Muppet Show, and this episode in particular, Oh my god, this is definitely in the category of one of the funniest, and hands down, the most meta episode of The Muppet Show you can ever find. Because inspired by Senor Wences coming in, Kermit decided that he wanted to go and do a puppet show this time for this episode of The Muppet Show. And during that whole time, like, the entire punchline of this episode is pretty much the meta feeling of like how the Muppets actually feel about puppets and like the whole concept of it where some are really into it like Fozzie while others like Miss Piggy and Gonzo are not really too fond of that kind of idea and like there are a few puppet shows that would happen in between like uh, the opening numbers would include having Pinocchio singing this song called Puppet Man and then Pinocchio also coming back for an episode of Veterinarian's Hospital. And then you also got Fozzie Bear just uh, trying to do a marionette act because like he really wanted to try out like all the marionettes and stuff like that. And, and then you got also this really short one where the Swedish chef decided to take a, a bunch of bre like a, a, bu a bunch of bread dough and like just put it on like his hand and his feet and just like make him do a little a little dance. Just simple as that. But, like, the, the big highlight in here is, hands down, Senor Wences, and this guy is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, hands, like I said before, this is definitely one of the funniest guest stars that actually appeared in here. Um, surprise, and very surprisingly enough, though, uh, there isn't any, like, musical numbers in here other than the opening number of Puppet Man. Literally, that's it. A lot of the time is actually devoted to Senor Wences comedy bit and all the other bits are inspired with just like using comedy and there's even one of them um, one that I actually did forget to mention there was one where uh, Beauregard wanted to show Kermit a little puppet act that he performed uh, which is like just using a uh, uh, what was it again I'm trying to remember what it was but um... Uh, ah, yes, 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 uh, punch in, like, the classic, uh, punch in Judy bit. So, like, he, he's just trying to show Kermit that, and that's pretty much the whole theme, where you got the mix of, like, this meta humor of, like, the Muppets' reaction to puppets, and then you also got Senior Wences doing, uh, like, his traditional comedy bits, uh, of just ventriloquism, where, like, he would just have this very fast-paced humor, just quickly switching voices and immediately interacting with all his characters like Cecilia, Pedro, and Johnny, while at the same time doing some uh, tricks like, uh, like he would have Johnny sing while he would go light up a cigarette or like even try to do some plate spinning while uh, trying to do his little bit at the same time. It really was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, but also at the same time, this is a bit of a historical episode as well because this is the first time ever that The Muppet Show would actually have a special guest star to actually come back. Because Senor Wences was not the only special guest star to appear here, there was also Bruce Schwartz. Now, Bruce Schwartz has already appeared in an episode beforehand 
where um, I believe he was in the episode with, uh, yes, Cleo Lane. Like he, like, he started out in Season 2 with uh, Cleo Lane, but now he decided to return, and this time, like, it, it was the most serious one of them all, but that's usually Bruce Schwartz style. Like, he, he's not following, like, the same comedy pace as uh, Senior Wen says or as the Muppets. Like, he's just doing his own thing with marionettes where he's trying to tell a Japanese ghost story. And it definitely was mesmerizing and pretty fascinating to watch. But yeah, like, this is one of those episodes that there really isn't a lot to say, but... Overall, it was absolutely phenomenal. Hands down, one of the best episodes of the season. It is absolutely amazing to watch. And this might even surpass some of the other uh, special guest stars that would, e that would uh, bring in puppets like Edgar Bergen, actually. But this was just absolutely beautiful to watch, especially bringing in the talent of Senior Wences. It, it, it's just like his fast-paced comedy really brought in a new air onto this episode of The Muppet Show. And especially seeing like the Muppets uh, being pretty meta. Like it, it's not that, that like the Muppets are very well known to use uh, fourth wall breaking jokes. But this is the most meta that they have ever been where they would criticize puppets. Uh, but definitely this is one of those episodes you just have to watch. It is amazing. And I just loved every second of it. Just, honestly, fantastic episode. Just go and watch it. Especially if you're a fan of ventriloquism. Whether it be if it's a classic ventriloquism with Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. Or if you're more into contemporary ventriloquism like with Terry Fader or with Jeff Dunham. You'll probably appreciate Senior Wences. This is just... Absolutely hilarious. Definitely love this episode. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this episode of the Muppet Vlog. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see if this tempo can actually continue on to the next episodes. I mean, like, if they can keep it up as much as this can, then I think we're going to be in for an amazing season. But we will only know until next time. So, see you later, dudes!